every time we uh, uh, get to rehearsal, we um, go through uh, every single page of what we're going to work on for the next few days. And Chris and um, Scott, they explain everything to us. There's a learning curve that it takes, and she, you know, she learned very quickly. I remember the first day on set, I was in my full body motion capture suit with the dots on my face and a huge camera right here on a helmet. And it was kind of this weird out of body experience where I had to sort of relearn how to walk and talk and work with my surroundings. Very quick survey, all right. See Danny down there. there? She is. Right, hop down. Those things don't give up. We better get moving. They have artwork of all of the infected, scary, terrifying monsters. <laughs> Tension is built in the moments where you know something is coming, but you don't quite know what it will be and where it will come from. That kind of tension building is uh, similar to film and TV. Glenn wanted to create different entryways for the monsters to come out. It's not just gonna be, you know, one door opens and they're right there. It's coming out from different um, vents and pipes and uh, sometimes you hear something in the background and you don't notice it, but then you do as the audience member. Using elements of sound in order to create fear is, I think, brilliant. That's what people are going to relate with, I think, the most. They're going to be more invested in the characters and they're going to want to turn that scary corner and fight for what's right because they're invested in these characters. I just can't wait for the fans to play it and I can't wait to see everyone, uh, everyone's reaction to it. <laughs> Nailed it! go to a 